Well, some of you may already know this isn't my um, first video of my train set. I have a few. I have a few videos of me running the trains round the track, which is a um, standard 1800 by 1200 millimeter train set. It's DCC, which is digital. Um, this is the first video of me showing you the progress of my train set so far. And here's here, as you can see, is my um, new engine shed, which is built out of cardboard. This has three of my diesel locomotives in, one or two of which are called um, my Delta Class 55 55001 St. Paddy and their Class 37 37141. As we go, I'll take the, the um, engine shed up to show you. As you can see, it is made out of um, cardboard. It could have been better, but this is my very first shed, well, building that I've actually built. As you can see the inside of it, it could have been better, but you know, yeah, it's my first time. And um, here's my locomotives. And here we have a um, Class 08 Shunter D4174, which I got with the mixed freight good set, mixed freight set. Quite a big set, really, I mean, honestly. There it is, quite big. Now so here is my um, water tower with the water bars next to it, which was bought for, um, well I managed to buy, get this for about six quid, well my granddad bought it for six quid, which is cheap, second hand um, from the local antique store, well you know, it's pretty good, I mean, I'd say it was in good condition for, you know, being second hand, um, but not bad, like that, take you around this side to have another look. Closing the water valve. Now, as you can see here, next to the engine shed are um, my other two little buildings. I'm not sure what tool sheds I think they are. These came with the set when I bought it. Yeah, um, originally bought it. You know. Now, this is my first attempt at gravelling while well, putting ballast down onto the railway. Don't know why I called it gravel. Uh, my very first attempt, as I said, now I am new to this hobby, so it could have gone worse, but as you can see there are patches left in it, you know, um, but you know, I can always get some more packs and sort that sort that out. I mean, not all the set has been ballasted yet, as you can see, and I'll just very, very quickly go around it like that, very quickly. Just to show you, there's the, over there's the little shed for the workmen to sit in. You know, we've got that's the little pile on there. And um, as you can see, that is um, so far what I've done. I mean, these points they work just fine like that. Now this point over here didn't work properly at first and I found myself when running the trains out having to clean it. I also found when running the class 37 over it would tend to cut out occasionally every time it got to it but it doesn't now but that hasn't yet been ballasted. Some of the wagons over there were second hand and I bought from the, the same antique store I bought, bought the um, water tower from. Um, here we have my station you know, which got again got with the sets. It's a very good station. You know, uh, went up rather quickly. I haven't yet named the station yet. I mean, the stickers will go there, but I'm not sure what to name it yet. That's just very quickly go around the front like that. You see. Now here is the glue that I use to uh, glue the ballast down. It's called Decorators PVA General Purpose Adhesive Primes and Seals. Good glue that that is. Um, there's the types of brushes I've used. You know, these two types. And um, here at the minute is the rest of the um, scenery. You know, the rest of the grass. That's going to go down eventually. And um, here in this box is a, card is a platform made out of cardboard which will soon be going down at some point in the future, but not yet. Um, 
over here we've got my uh, little bridge which I've ordered with the set as well as the original soap paddy which is now broken and soon enough there's going to be nowhere for this to go but I'm still going to keep hold of it anyways like that you know no point in getting rid of things if you keep hold on them it can save you money in the future now here is the chassis to the original soap paddy as I said, I mean this one is broken, has a snapped wire on it somewhere, I don't know if you, but you might be able to see it, it's somewhere about there. So it's the original site paddy, and then there's the, where is it, there's the plug for the um, microchip, where, it, where I would plug, well where I would plug the microchip in if it wasn't broken. But, um, this is a um, DCC ready locomotive at the minute. And the other soap paddy which is over there, in fact both of those two are now DCC fitted. And um, as we can say, here's the original shell to the same paddy. And as we can see, the buffer is broken due to me mum throwing things out the loft, but that was an accident. You know, that was only an accident, that one. As I say, that's the original shell put that there. Now here are the um, two Intercity 125 coaches which um, you know, both of them can you see like that both which um, cost me 18 quid each second hand very good. Now um, in the previous videos you would have seen my class 30 class 55 Deltic pulling these around but now also, now the um, class 37 also takes part in pulling them around as well whereas now the class 55 pulls these around as well as the um, class 50, class um, 37 Deltic you know eight of those some of those were also some of those came from the set came with the set and some of them bought second hand you know, it should, I could probably point out the second hand ones well, you know, not today. And um, there you go. As you can see, that part yet hasn't been ballasted, but will be soon. Now, as we can see here, I'll bring it here. Here's my signal box, which came second hand as well, for only a couple of quid. It was broken. I mean, that did come from the same store as well, but the rest of the stuff from. I mean, the ladder, the steps here were broken, but I just used a bit of glue to glue them on. Yeah, but it has sorted it, it's pretty strong, which is good. Which is what you'd expect, really, when you're gluing things down, for it to be pretty strong. I mean, this one says Reading on it. I don't know whether you can see that there. But as you can see again, this is plastic, and then which is hollow inside like that All right, can you see now as I'll put that back over there <coughs> oops anyway so here's my good shed with one of the second hand trucks and my little steam engine sticking out of it there I'll take that off in a minute as you can see this it's also made of plastic. They bought second hand as well. Went up literally within seconds for me by when I got home and put it up. Literally seconds. As you can see inside it there you've got the little platform there. You can tell it's probably been used a bit. As you can see. And over here we have my steam engine. You know, my little steam engine is 68478 which came with the set when I bought it as it was a mixed freight good set or well, it's a mixed freight set or mixed freight good set and um, as I say it's D that was these these that's DCC ready fitted for the set as it is a digital train set now this is the um, control unit I use and this is called the um, Hornby Select Digital Control which has the ability to control 59 DCC locomotives 
and 40 points or accessories you know, and as you can see it has um, a lot of buttons on it and um, yeah, the LCD screen just here and as I say here it's got the um, stop button well this is not to switch the thing off you, know, you have to unplug it this is only in an emergencies you know that when you push that button and um, then you've got the function button here and the select button you've got the knob which controls the speed and you've also got the council button which councils things you know like numbers and when you're addressing things and they go wrong you can just cancel it and um, these two here you can use our directional buttons and as I said which control the direction of the control of the train you're controlling as I say this is the knob which controls the speed and when you want to stop it and then there's all various different buttons like your trains address and things like that.